All right, let's go, baby. First spin. Boom. Scalzi in one spin from Lou. Nah, not... Oh! The Ginger Prince is here! All right, let's, let's jump straight into Paul Scholes and the review of him. Now, I genuinely think the only position to play Scholesy is attacking midfield. I don't feel that he's good enough for CMF, even though he's got okay aggression at 80, which is kind of the minimum you'd want. Acceleration, kick and power, physical contact, stamina, all really nice in the strength category. And then, of course, you've got the ball control, tight possession, low pass, and finishing all at 90. He is a whole player. He's definitely more suited to an attack and roll. And I'm going to show you why with a couple of key clips here. Because you want to be picking up the ball in a very specific area with your whole playing attacking midfielder. Now, if you don't shoot a lot from attacking midfield and you just kind of like play through the middle to your center forwards, Scolzi probably won't, you know, maximize uh, his, his role for you, right? But he can pick up the ball here quite a lot. And once you get a shot on target, he is like a home and missile. Honestly, he's such a good finisher. He's definitely underrated. And it's just all about his quickness of feet, getting the ball out and then just popping it home. He's one of the best and quickest stunning shots in the game from what I've used. Now, I know there's other players as well that are there, and the other premium players like Baggio and attacking midfield and Griezmann, they'll always do a job for you. But I definitely think looking at his stats as a whole player that still has that aggression, he still has the tackling and defensive engagement over 75, so he matches that threshold of most uh, kind of central midfielders. This is the progression that we've got for him. Five into shooting, six passing, eight into dribbling, nine dexterity, ten into lower body, three into aerial and then six into defending you might ask as well if we are playing him attacking midfield do we actually need aerial strength and defending we could get a couple of more points there but to be honest with you unless you want to throw it into dexterity i don't really feel that there's there's a point in keeping anything out of defending i definitely think 80 aggression will make him intercept the ball a lot more um i always find that when i'm playing attacking midfielders I do find that if they don't have interception in their player skills, I like to get their aggression up. Now, if you do get interception as a, an additional skill, you can do that as well. But Scolzi off the rip, the only thing he's really missing here, I would say, is probably long range curl. So you've got long range shooting, you've got rising shot, first time shot, one touch pass, all the passing skills, true, weighted and low lofted. And of course, if you want to give him something else, I would definitely recommend if you're playing him in this role to give him long range. Curler, we're going to do that here. Depends what skills you have, honestly. It's such a lottery with the skills. It is probably worth, you know, pumping in a little bit to Scolzi with the long range. Curler, that's if you finesse shot. And this will improve your finesses from outside the box as well, um, or your curl shots. You could also as well, if you wanted to, you could also give him... Um, you could also give him long range curl and interception if you want to do that as well. That's not a problem with him. Um, but yeah, I do feel like that this is definitely a, a version of Skulls that you're going to want to... How would I say it, right? You're going to want to like have him attacking from the front. And when he gets the ball in, it's just a different type of player that you're going to have. A lot of people now will back off you because the defending is so easy once you back off. And a lot of people trying to force it through the middle. That's just where the meta is at the moment with little, you know, intricate one-touch passes, touching goals. But you want Scolzi picking up these positions right here. You want him attacking midfielder. You don't really want him linking up with your defenders unless he's bringing the ball forward. If you're using a sub tactic, he can also use, you know, use him in a, in a two-man, two-man, two-man type of position in here. This is kind of the meta at the moment if you're not playing the standard 4-2-1-3. Uh, or the four one two three. Um, I do feel like that this is probably his best kind of formation and best position to be in. But I definitely like him through the middle as well. You'll see just clips after clips, lads. It's just about attacking from the front and putting the press on. Lovely little slip pass through to Dennis Law. And Dennis Law is going to finish as he can. The lawman always finishes. But it's just about getting into these positions and having the dribbling, having the ability to be able to score from every position. And both feet are really nice from Scolzi. So I was actually pleasantly surprised... Huge shout out to Rich and to, of course, Lou for the spins. We did get him in one spin, so that was obviously a bonus as well. When you get a player in a spin, I always kind of look on him a little bit more brightly, um, and I feel like that it's a sign to play him a little bit more, you know, if they want to come to the club a little bit easier, rather than having to go in super, super collar deep uh, for him. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of Scolzi. I would probably say that he's probably like a solid eight and a half. If you shoot a lot as an attacking midfielder, which I do, he's probably pushed up to a nine. He definitely is a very unique card, 
but it's just that there are so many good attacking midfielders in the game at the moment so that is it for me lads short and sweet as we like to do under review no waffle no overcomplicating it you know what you're getting with Scolzi. he's a shooting and a shoot first attacking midfielder that can mix it with the best dribblers and passers every player skill and a bit of time and investment into him you can have a dominant player 